Oh, yeah. Now, Southern New England's favorite radio game show. Huh? It's time to Stump the DJ with Paul and Al on 94 HJY. Waxing Kit the other day. She asked me if she should just do the sides or leave a strip down the middle. I said I'd prefer if you didn't have a mustache at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a good Rhode Island joke. <laughs> and uh, our buddy Jeff has been busy uh, submitting jokes. One very, well, they're both pretty sick. Uh, I went around to my Uncle Frank's house and I found an alien mask, some Vaseline, and a long metal tube in a drawer. Hmm. Suddenly that childhood memory of an alien abduction I thought was just a dream <laughs> got a whole lot scarier. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> and Jeff also writes, you know, I'm not saying my wife is ugly. But she just bought a new pair of glasses, and they make her look like Buddy Holly after the accident. Oh, oh what? Man, oh, what? <laughs> Blonde coyote stuck in the trap. Blonde coyote stuck in the trap. Yeah, gnawed off three limbs and was still stuck in the trap. Oh, damn. This is one that uh, a couple of people have submitted, so Tyler gets in on it first. Okay, that's the so, way it goes when yeah, uh, exactly. Joe gets hot and makes the, uh, makes the rounds. Police officer stops the guy for speeding. He says, do you know how fast you were going? The guy says, well, I was uh, trying to keep up with traffic. Cop says, there is no traffic. Guy says, I know, that's how far behind I am. <laughs> <laughs> Find one, go ahead, man. I you know what I just heard about the Muslim bookstore? There's a Muslim bookstore. Why don't you tell us about it? Well, I was walking through the mall, and I saw a Muslim bookstore, and I got curious, so I went in, and I started looking around, and the sales clerk comes over and says, can I help you? And I said, yes. I was wondering if you had... Donald Trump's new book on immigration about Muslims and Mexicans. He said, get the hell out and stay out. I and he goes, yeah, that's the name of the title of it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. H.J.Y., hi. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's the difference between Jared from Subway's ass and a pack of cigarettes? Jared from Subway's ass and a pack of cigarettes. Uh, you have to be 18 years old. What? Me and me, he's got to pay for the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Yeah, he can enjoy a pack of cigarettes before it runs out. <laughs> and what, what? The Jello pudding guy is a rapist. The Subway guy is a pervert that goes after children. You know, it kind of makes you wonder what the dog was trying to tell us from the Bush's Baked Beans commercial, you know, about the big bean guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, Wheels also writes, hey, I started carrying a knife after an attempted mugging a few years ago. Yeah. Since then, my mugging attempts have been a lot more successful. <laughs> <laughs> the little Bob went to his mom to uh, went with his mom to church every Sunday. And one m morning, in the middle of the service, little Bob complained that he was feeling a bit queasy and he was afraid he was going to throw up. So his mom whispers in his ear, "No problem, honey. Just head on over to the bathroom on the other side of the church and take care of it there." Well, just a few minutes later, little Bob comes back. Mom says, D "Did you go to the bathroom?" And he says, no, I didn't have to, Ma. Right outside the door was a big box with a sign on it that said, for the sick. So I just did it in there. <laughs> uh, in, in the last hour, we had a, what's the difference between Jared from Subway's ass and a pack of cigarettes? Right. And actually, the follow-up joke was better than the first uh -huh. one. Right? The follow-up being, well, only 20 guys can enjoy a pack of cigarettes <laughs> before it runs, runs out. out. Uh. And uh, But Jeff's joke, I'm not saying my wife is ugly, but she just bought a new pair of glasses and they make her look just like Buddy Holly after the accident. <laughs> In the living room, screaming and yelling at her husband, it's over. I knew you cheated on me. And her husband's like, what the hell are you talking about? She said, you got two text messages, I just checked them. Who the hell is Amber or what? <laughs> All right, thanks, man. You have a Rick Astley Madison account. Yeah, it's for husbands who don't want their wives to know they're in love with <laughs> music. <laughs> in, uh, airborne about 30 minutes, uh, outbound evening flight uh, from Dublin. Flight attendant, uh, well, nervously makes the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, very sorry, but it appears there's been a terrible mix-up. Uh, I don't know what happened, but we have 103 passengers on board and unfortunately only 40 dinner meals. I'm really sorry for this inconvenience. So, of course, the passengers are all muttering. Yeah, right. Big flight, you know. She goes, anyone who's kind enough to give up their meal so that somebody else can eat will receive free unlimited drinks for the duration of our five-hour flight. So the next announcement comes an hour and a half later. Um, 
If anyone would like to change their minds about the drinks, we still have 40 dinners available. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah, hey, you know what uh, Southern Girls and Baby Black Bears have in common? Southern Girls and Baby Black Bears. Yeah, they both lick their paws, I believe. Uh, that's it. <laughs> well, you've called the right number then. <laughs> okay, well, uh, a couple of years ago, this family comes over from China, uh, Mr. Jai Wong. He comes over with his family, and they're doing good on a work visa and everything. Mrs. Wong gets pregnant, and she goes to the hospital to have the baby. It's an easy delivery. That's the baby before Mr. Wong can get to the hospital to witness delivery. And he runs in, and he says to the doctor, my wife had baby, my wife had baby. And the doctor says, yes, it's a bouncing baby boy. And the nurse brings the child out for him to see. And it doesn't look like an Asian child at all. It looks like a black child. And the doctor says, I don't have a name to put on the birth certificate. What should we call him? Something Wong. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are crazy. Th there's also another one where the kid's a white baby. And uh, the doctor says, wait a second, two Wongs don't make a white. <laughs> you hot ticket. <laughs> you guys make my day every day. I'm so glad that you're on the radio. All right. If it wasn't for you, I'd have a miserable day every oh, day. Geez. Oh, geez. You're giving geez. us you're giving us an erection That's over here. That's a lot Thank of you. pressure, too. Yeah. That's Holy a lot of crap. pressure. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks. We appreciate All right. it. Have a great day, you guys. I know it. Hey, Jeff, this week. Jeff's winning joke is, I'm not saying my wife is ugly, but she just bought a new pair of glasses and they make her look just like Buddy Holly after the accident. 